again if I use that uh, nine and a half mark as my hip guide okay and I'm gonna pin down center front and then just let the rest of it kind of be loose after the six inch mark Then I'm going to um, just slightly smooth it in three inches. Now I got to get rid of some of this uh, excess. Excuse me, I got to get the scissor. Don't need quite this much. Okay. So clipping here. As I get to that princess line, I'm going to let a small dart fall in. So just give yourself as many clips as you need so it lays smooth. And it will fall, uh, this line won't stay perfectly horizontal. It will start to fall as the flare dro drops in. Okay, so now my, um, my side seam is here. I'm gonna put a pin to hold it for a minute and get rid of some of this excess. And don't Cut the bottom straight up, cut it at an angle so that you have enough to add your flare. Hmm. And then, excuse me, I'm behind you. And you get your pencil and um, get the top of that hip as well as marking this waist. So you mark either side of your knot, your dart. And then dot your waist. Back to center front. Square it at center front. And then from here, this is a matter of how much flare do you want. So I'm gonna let it just fall where it wants to fall. And I'll step back and take a look and see if I wanna add any more than that. Okay, can't quite see it on the overhead. Can you guys see it physically? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Take a little bit more of this. I'll pull up this. I can use um, the bottom of the form as my guide. I can see it uh, in order to get a straight line to that. So my hem at the side is gonna be <clears throat> more fabric for now. And then I'll get that straightened out later. Okay, now before I finish anything, I gotta do the back. And I can measure too. Let's make sure that we, we use the form. I can measure uh, from the bottom of my form to where I turned it up, I've got four and a half inches. And over here, I have only four. So I want it at four and a half from that, from that point. So I'll put a pin there to let me know where four and a half is. Okay. <clears throat> Now we do the back. And repeat the same steps. Okay, now on this one, I think it's simple enough of a, of a process. Um, if you want to, Sew half of it before you leave today, uh, just to check it. That wouldn't be a bad idea. 
but in terms of turning it in, I, I want the whole skirt. some of this. So for next week, you don't want a half um, muslin? No, you want, I, you want I, the full I piece? I want a full, a full muslin skirt. Okay. With a zipper. I always add one pocket to like my um like skirts. Yeah. Like on the like a, like an inseam pocket. Yeah. Because hmm? I because I know how much it's like to have about a pocket. I think um, in advanced sewing, I want to make a project that's like uh, a, a work apron. So we have it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so click that. I think in sewing one, um, an extra credit assignment is an apron. Yeah. No pockets though. No pockets, there's a pattern for it. Oh, well, you gotta have the, you gotta have the pockets like uh, a the, the big pouch. Yeah. Yeah. To keep your your scissors and tools. But I think in sewing one, that's just extra credit, so not not everyone does mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Okay, so again, get that. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna, again, have to get rid of a lot of fabric here. But I, again, cut it kind of at a V angle so that you don't get rid of your flare. And then <clears throat> you're gonna balance, you're gonna balance the two. So once you get this, um, this measurement flat, in your pattern, you'll be able to see it to balance as well. So I've got some extra fabric there for the moment. Holding. Always leave yourself that big inch in case you get a little too close. You have your seam allowance to work with. <clears throat> okay, and you can um, pin them together as if it were sewn. My guideline on the back um, wants to come up a little higher because there we go. And so that's going to cause my my dart to grow just a little bit more in the back so that the grain line is balanced. Sure you get both sides of your darts before you remove your muslin. You want these guys to meet. And it's flat over the top of the stomach and then after that there's more freedom through the hip. It's not meant to be tight through the hip. Mm -hmm. So just light fit and then it flares so it should be an a like it like the name says it should be an a shape there shouldn't be any funny angles and then from there just um, you know play with the hem until you get a nice level hem check your measurement on the form and then once you're there you can remove it and make your pattern okay mm -hmm.